Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to introduce the IGCSE Maths courses for Cambridge. So it's a really important video just to make sure you know the basics, how you're being assessed, what topics could come up as well. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to expect when those exams come around in two years time. Now be aware there are two main IGCSE maths courses. So we have the IGCSE 0580 known as the mathematics course, but don't forget there is also the IGCSE 0607 international mathematics course as well. And so the first thing really to know is make sure you know which course you are doing. So make sure you know if you're doing 0580 or 0607. Now, before I go into the details of both courses, if you want to make sure you're well prepared, so when you start either of the IGCSE courses, then do check out the video above because I go through my all of year nine maths video. So if you know a majority of the topics from that very big three hour video, then you'll be more than ready for either of the IGCSE courses. So let's head over to my laptop and let's get started on looking at the 0580 course. Okay, so let's go through the Cambridge IGCSE 0580 course. And this is a document going from 2023 and 2024. So it's really up to date. One thing to be aware of, if you are based in India, there is also exams available in the March series. So generally with this IGCSE, you have exams in May, June, and you have exams in October, November. But in India, there is also the possibility to be assessed in March as well. So the key things to realize in terms of content, all candidates will study the following topics, and this is what's to be expected. So again, number skills, uh, algebra, shape and space, and probability and statistics, and you can see all the information there as well. Um, one thing to be aware of is core and extended. So the core content, so if you do the core papers rather than extended, that's for people targeting grades G to C. Uh, for the extended, that's people targeting grades D to A star. And generally, if I'm unsure, just talking from experience here, uh, for a student who's on that sort of CD borderline, I will generally put them in for that extended and give them the opportunity to get the higher grades. Um, if we look at below for the different papers, so core do papers one to three, extended do papers two and four, and you can actually see how it's divided up in terms of topic. And one thing really to appreciate here is whether you do core or extended, um, the shape and space is generally the same in terms of the percentage on the paper and probability and statistics as well. But the thing to realize, if you find algebra quite difficult and quite a struggle, then the core paper is more aligned with yourself because you'll see a whopping 30 to 35% of the paper is number skills. So if you do find algebra somewhat tricky, then it may be a good idea to look at doing the core paper rather than extended. So that's something really to communicate with you here. So how are you actually assessed on the 0580 course? Well, if you're doing the course, so grades G to C, again, there are two papers, paper one, paper three, uh, the first paper out of 56 marks and the second paper, paper three out of 104 marks. So generally there is a weighting on the paper with more structured questions, so long answer questions, rather than the paper one, which is more based on short answer questions. So one thing really to focus on in your revision, if you're doing core, also applies to extended here as well, is to make sure you're comfortable with these long extended questions, because you are going to be uh, marked um, in the more majority on that. Uh, also something to realize on both the core and extended that calculators are used throughout the exam. So there is no non-calculator paper on both paper one and paper three. As we can see here, extended paper two and paper four, you can use a calculator for both papers. However, do keep in mind that there's usually one or two questions on each of the papers where it says without a calculator, work out some fraction calculation. So they'll specify very, very specifically if you can't use a calculator for one or two questions. Uh, for extended paper two and paper four, you can see it's divided up very similarly in one hour, 30 minutes for paper two, two hour, 30 minutes for paper four. So there is a weighting on paper four more so than paper two. So please do that, take that into account when you're doing your revision and focusing on the types of questions that could come up.
And lastly, are there any changes to the syllabus for the exams coming up in 2023 and 24? The quick answer to that on 0580 is no. So there is no change from what was taught before to what is taught now. So as it says exactly in front of you here, any textbooks that are endorsed for the 2020 program also apply for 2023 and 2024 as well. OK, and now it's time to look at the 0607 International Mathematics course. Let's go back to my laptop and have a look. OK, and now let's look at the International Mathematics course, so 0607. Um, just like with the 0580 course, uh, exams are available in May, June, October, November, generally towards the start of that. So you'll find often the June exams are actually in April, end of April. And of course, if you are in India, you can also do them in March too. So content overview here is a little bit different. You can see uh, we divide up here into 11 separate topics. And one thing that's really important on this course and makes it the international mathematics course, it's really preparing students for IB. So the graphic display calculator requirements are below. Now there are many different graphical calculators you can use for this course. I generally in my videos use the TI Inspire. You'll see I also use the CG50 as well. So if you're interested in the TI Inspire specifically, I've done a tutorial program on that. So check out the video above. But your calculator needs to do the basic functions here. So sketch a graph, produce a table of values, find zeros, maxima, minima. Uh, intersection point to two graphs and then uh, some stats as well so finding mean median quartiles and linear regression and you'll find this really helps you when you move on to the IB courses because these skills are used particularly on the AI course a ton so make sure you get really uh, really good with the graphical calculator there is also a problem solving element to this particular course so particularly on the paper five and paper six which I'll talk about in a moment um, being able to Model a situation, analyze a situation, be able to apply the maths you've learned on the course to different situations and different scenarios. Now, this also comes into the assessment and how you are assessed. Now, this is where we differ quite a bit from the 0580 course. So, notice that we still have the core and extended split. So, if you're aiming from grades uh, C to G, then you should be doing the core. If you're looking at grades A star to D, then you should be looking at the extended course. So that still applies. Um, however, be aware on paper one for core or paper two for extended, this short paper of 45 minutes, this is a non-calculated paper. So even though it is a short paper, you can see it's weighted 25% and 20%. Accordingly, there is a non-calculator element. However, if you notice on the extended, 80% of your exam is with a calculator. So do keep that in mind when it comes to your revision. The big paper is the one in the middle. So the paper three and paper four uh, core and extended, as you can see the amount of marks there. And these are these long structural questions similar to the paper three and paper four on 0580. And I'll be talking about this at the end of the video. You can actually use the 0580 papers to help you with these kinds of questions. Now, the big difference, of course, is the papers below. So the paper five and the paper six. So the investigation and modeling paper. And this is a paper often students really do struggle with. They don't have enough practice on it about working with these long extended investigative tasks and being able to use the graphical calculator in different contexts. Now, if you are struggling with paper six in particular, I've made a big playlist of paper six videos where you can just watch me go through five, six different paper six papers. So if you're interested in that, please check out the video above. As you can see, it's a decent weighting as well. So if you're doing the extended, for example, it's the same weight as the paper two. And this is where I often find students can use what's called comparative advantage in economics. So because lots of students struggle with this, if you really do put the time into paper six, you can really improve your grades very, very quickly. OK, and changes to the syllabus to 2023 and 24. So there's only a slight change here. So rather than what the 0580 course said, if you're aiming for grade A star to C, you should follow the extended curriculum rather than A star to D. I mean, that can be discussed here. Certainly, if you're on the CD borderline, I would also at least consider looking at the extended rather than going straight into core. But that's something they've added to the main syllabus document. 
And a question I often get asked is, what's really the difference between the 0580 course and the 0607 course? So the two courses we've just looked at in some detail. So I'm gonna go back to my laptop for the last time, and we're gonna go through a so-called mapping uh, diagram where we can actually see how much overlap there are between the courses and the differences you really do need to look out for from both courses' point of view. Okay, I'm going to briefly talk about the overlapping topics between the two courses that I've talked about here, so International Mathematics and Mathematics. And the thing to focus on here is the topic correlation. And as I said earlier in the video, it's quite a lot of overlap between the two courses. And if you actually look at this list here, so they've broken down each of the topics from the 06007 course, uh, by subtopic here and if you look at how many crosses there are compared to the ticks you can see there are only very few topics that don't come up on one and do come up on the other uh, but do take into account that the 0607 course is much more about the problem solving element rather than the 0580 course and if you'd like to actually know which of those topics do overlap I'll quickly scroll through here you can pause the video if you want to look at the exact overlap but you can see lots of different overlap here. I mean, interpretation of inequalities, solving linear inequalities, you can see very, very similar. Uh, functions, for example, also end up being very, very similar. Coordinate geometry is pretty much identical, I would say. Um, a lot of the circle theorem questions, but also very, very similar as our vectors um, working with units. That can differ slightly um, with some of these uh, questions where You've got water coming in and water coming out and working out uh, when it's empty or when it's full. That kind of question can be 0580 focused. But again, this does change from year to year and there is a lot of crossover between the topics. So again, if you didn't see all of that straight away, then do pause the video, rewind, and then you can see that crossover between the 0607 on the left hand side and the 0580 on the right. So those are the key facts to realize about the both mathematics courses. If you want more detail on exactly what a 0580 paper looks like, then check out the video just to my, <laughs> over here. And if you want to check out a typical 0607 paper, then also check out the video underneath here as well.